Hi, Mom. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brandon McCubbinan, and thank you all for coming. Throughout all the high school drama, going broke at one point, getting to school late, even though you could swear you woke up an hour earlier, forgetting your books in your locker for class, forgetting you even have a locker, the high school crushes, stressful finals, and the tears, we managed to make it to the finish line. But let us not distract you from the fact that the Warriors blew a 3 1 lead. That's tight. <laughs> Coming from Zimbabwe at the beginning of junior year, fitting into a new school wasn't easy. But the family of BHJ made it way easy. From the moment I set foot in the building, I felt welcomed by everyone I passed. Their patience was amazing. I mean, I would know. For the first few days, I got lost about four or five times each day. And the same people had to help me get to the same place that they did the day before. Classes were always interesting. There was something new every day. You never went through a day without laughing at something. Or yourself. The Viking brothers just had a way of bringing that out in each and every day. Being a soccer captain this year was probably the best thing that PSJ has ever given me. It made me better as a leader, a student, and a Christian all around. It was the most amazing opportunity that I've had during my high school career, and I would cherish those memories forever. I would like to say that the Life Club was my favorite club at BSJ. Having been a part of it for two years, I was named a leader in my senior year, along with the other graduating seniors. These amazing people are Eleanor Peru, Tim Riddell, Alondia Strong, Aaron Osborne, and Elizabeth Smith. Together as seniors, we led the club with passion. Special shout out to Ms. Prusik and Mr. Pito. Fun fact, Mr. Pito was the first teacher to get my last name right in BSJ. <laughs> Together they brought out the best in the six of us. And even though sometimes we had no faith in ourselves, they always knew that we could do the best. And we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting before you is the class of 2018. The blue and red caps don't just symbolize colors, but tradition. A tradition that many don't get the privilege of experience and I'm proud to be a part of it. It's a tradition that has been passed down from generation to generation, and it stood strong, making BSJ what it is today. It symbolizes pride, family, faith, and future. Everyone present today is a part of this family, one way or another. Of course, you can't have a wonderful student body without wonderful parents. To all the parents out there and guardians, we say thank you. Thank you for believing in us, challenging us, and nagging us to finally clean our rooms. It truly paid off. And the four years of hard work was worth it. I mean, just look at how your kids turned out. To all you seniors, I want to thank you for all the good memories we've had together. Stay the beautiful and ambitious people that you have been all these four years. Keep the experiences that you've had and make the lessons shape into the beautiful people God has made you to be. Eat good, stay hydrated, and make yourself proud of you. You have come so far, yet you have so much further to go. Don't let anyone break the strong foundation you have built for yourself. If there are any situations your life is negative, don't forget to lock the door behind them when you show them up. Surround yourself with people like you, who will inspire you, teach you, motivate you, and want to see you win. Famous poet, philosopher, and songwriter Drake once tweeted <laughs> Live without pretending. Love without depending, listen without defending, and speak without offending. <laughs> With that being said, seniors, I say to you, stay in your lane and keep chasing that bag. Thank you.